Okay. Hi, hello, my name is Alef and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited about today's videos because it is going to be a styling one and literally coming up with outfits is one of my favorite things to do. As you can tell from the title of this video, today we'll be talking about bombers, which is one of the key pieces in any autumn winter season. Bomber jackets are really a classic item in a man's wardrobe and if you style them right, you can always make sure you're looking stylish in the streets. So here are a few of my favorite bomber jackets in my collection. I'm saying collection like it's a big one, but I actually own only two bombers in here. The other two I had to buy online because I realized I don't have a black bomber jacket. And how can I create a dedicated YouTube video on bomber jackets without showing you the most basic bomber jacket there is out there? A black bomber. That's what I thought to myself. So here we are with two black bomber jackets and all ready to get straight on with our today's video. The first one is this bomber jacket that I got from Pull and Bear. Uh, it is like literally a black bomber. It has a bit of detailing on the sleeve and I had to size up for this one. I got in a size medium because I'll obviously need to be layering it up since I don't think that this is really going to protect me from the London weather. Now I decided to style this bomber with a black graphic hoodie that I had from Adidas and I really like the blue accents that it, they were kind of showing as I had the bomber open and also one of the reasons why I chose to pair it up with a hoodie in the first place is because of the color of the bomber. It has this baseball color that is pretty thin and I personally think that the hoodie sits the best when there's no big collar that like gets in the way. Definitely a very casual and everyday look, but then again, this is a very casual bomber, so there's not really much you can do with it. Maybe the maximum you could go to is possibly wear it with a white shirt, and that's about it. Next up is my favorite jacket on this rail, bomber jacket bomber jacket on this rail and it's by this uh, brand from Copenhagen called Ledoux uh, if you follow me on Instagram I'm sure you've seen me wear their stuff quite or frequently I love their things they're very high quality and pretty reasonable for what you pay because I have things from them for like two three years that I wear every winter and they still look great and they always look very very expensive I usually go for very toned down jackets in the terms of the colors that I would choose it's usually the black blue and maybe Maxima would go for a scream, but I really wanted to change that this year and I thought that this olive green bomber was a great start. The olive color is perfect for the winter season and it's actually very easy to style. It looks very luxurious and it's made from wool and it has this fuzzy color, so it's definitely going to keep you warm. It is also very, very heavy. So I'm gonna have to rest here while I talk about this jacket. Also, what I think I love about this is that you can actually dress it up and dress it down. It's quite versatile. For this occasion, I decided to wear it up with a white cable knit sweater from Ralph Lauren. And that did that, I wore a checked shirt that like had like similar warm tones to just give it a more preppy look. Another way how I would wear this is with a turtleneck. I have this gray turtleneck, which is also from the brand, so it kind of like completes the look if you want to call that. I've worn that look a couple of times, actually a lot more than that. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen it before, but I'll try to insert a picture somewhere on the screen for everybody to have a look at. But I just love wearing turtleneck. It's just such an easy way to just style an outfit that you kind of don't want to bother too much. And bomber number three, it's another black bomber. And this one is from Buchuman. I know this may seem quite similar to the one I showed you before, but there's actually some key differences to the Pull and Bear one. Now the material is shinier, which I'm not sure how well it reads under these lights, but it kind of reminds me a lot of a satin jacket, but not really taking it all the way up to there, because I would have not shown you otherwise, it's actually not that shiny in natural lighting. And second of all, and most importantly, the fit is very different. It is quite oversized and it's also padded. So I thought that this was going to be the perfect jacket to experiment with layering. For this one, I decided to wear it with a jeans jacket and a graphite yellow tee. I love the different mixtures of materials and colors. And I think that a jeans jacket under a black bomber gives a very refreshing spin to such a basic and simple item in someone's wardrobe. Now to complete the look, I would have loved to wear a yellow tone beanie to go along with the logo of my t-shirt. I think it would have been very playful, but I don't actually own any yellow beanies. And I don't really want one unless uh, it is so I can wear it with this look. Now the last bomber is a classic varsity jacket. I got this from Topman. I actually got this and in brown and in blue. I have them both with me. Uh, they actually survived four years, but again, 
I don't wear them that often, so that's probably why they're still with us and in one piece. I decided to show you the brown one but I f because I felt like it was more interesting and I definitely had a lot of darker tones uh, in my previous bomber jackets. I find varsity bombers to be very casual, very colored zog, so I usually wear them during spring summertime with a white tee and jeans. It's actually one of the very few pieces that makes me wanna calm myself together and actually dress down for the occasion. It's a simple combination but definitely a winning one because sometimes less is more. Sometimes though, it's usually the other way around as you can tell with me, like from today for instance. But still, even though I don't really wear them, bomber jackets are a very classic piece and I will always have one in my wardrobe. And that is all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. Let me know which one was your favorite outfit and which one was your favorite bomber. Obviously, I think we all know which one was mine. Also, definitely let me know if there's anything you would like for me to do next. I'm planning a lot of Christmas content as well, which I'm so excited about. So there's going to be a lot more of winter fashion, Christmas themed, party themed content coming up. If you want to see more of me, make sure you head over to my Instagram, which I'll have in the description below. But till I see you again, bye bye.